pupils. In the studio is the radio teacher and two standard seven pupils, Amina and Musa. Welcome to the program. Hello, standard seven pupils. In this program, we are going to learn about capacity of cubes, cuboids, and cylinders. Amina, what do you understand by the term capacity? Capacity is the amount of substance or liquid that a container can hold. Good, Amina. Capacity is the amount of substance or liquid that a container can hold. Musa, which units are used to measure capacity? The units used to measure capacity are liters, deciliters, and milliliters. Good, Musa. The units used to measure capacity are liters, deciliters, and milliliters. Amina, what is volume? The volume of an object is the amount of space that it occupies. Good, Amina. The volume of an object is the amount of space that it occupies. Class, which units are used to measure volume? Give the answer to your teacher. Musa, which are the units used to measure volume? Volume is measured in cubic units. Good, Musa. Volume is measured in cubic units such as cubic centimeters and cubic meters. Class, did you give the correct answer? Good. Amina, what do you understand by the term one cubic centimeter? This is a cube of length one centimeter, width one centimeter, and height one centimeter. Good, Amina. One cubic centimeter means a cube of length one centimeter, width one centimeter, and height one centimeter. Class teacher, show the class a cube of sides one centimeter. This cube holds one milliliter of a liquid. Therefore, one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. Musa, how many one cubic centimeter cubes can be fitted in a cube of sides 10 centimeters? The number of one cubic centimeter cubes on the base will be 10 multiplied by 10 centimeter cubes. There are 10 layers of such cubes. Therefore, the total number of cubes is 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 cubes, which is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters. Good, Musa. A cube 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters will have 1,000 cubic centimeters. Class, how many milliliters will a cube of sides 10 centimeters hold? Give the answer to your teacher. Amina, how many milliliters will a cube of sides 10 centimeters hold? A cube of sides 10 centimeters will hold 1,000 cubic centimeters, but one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. Therefore, 1,000 cubic centimeters is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. Good, Amina. 1,000 cubic centimeters is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Therefore, one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. Teacher, isn't 1,000 milliliters equal to one liter? That is correct, Musa. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, which is equivalent to 1,000 cubic centimeters. Amina, 
how many cubic centimeters are there in 5 liters there are 5000 cubic centimeters in 5 liters good amina 5 liters is equal to 5000 cubic centimeters class how many milliliters are there in 5 liters give the answer to your teacher Musa How many milliliters are there in 5 liters In 1 liter there are 1000 milliliters Therefore in 5 liters there are 5 multiplied by 1000 milliliters which is equal to 5000 milliliters Good Musa In 5 liters there are 5 multiplied by 1000 milliliters which is equal to 5000 milliliters class did you get 5000 milliliters good amina how many liters are there in 7000 milliliters 7000 milliliters divided by 1000 is 7 liters because 1 liter is equivalent to 1000 milliliters good amina 7000 milliliters are equal to 7 liters class how many liters are there in 10000 cubic centimeters give the answer to your teacher How many liters are there in 10000 cubic centimeters There are 10000 cubic centimeters divided by 1000 which is equal to 10 liters This is because 1 liter is equivalent to 1000 cubic centimeters Good Musa There are 10 liters in 10000 cubic centimeters 1 liter is equivalent to 1000 cubic centimeters teacher draw a sketch of a cuboid of sides 90 centimeters 70 centimeters and 50 centimeters on the chalkboard Amina What is the volume of the cuboid in cubic centimeters The volume of the cuboid is the number of cubes on the base which is 90 multiplied by 70 cm cubes multiplied by 50 cubes which is the height of the stack Therefore the volume is 90 cm multiplied by 70 cm multiplied by 50 cm which is equal to 315000 cubic centimeters good amina the volume of the cuboid is 90 centimeters multiplied by 70 centimeters multiplied by 50 centimeters which is 315000 cubic centimeters musa how many liters does such a cuboid contain there are 315 liters in 315000 cubic centimeters because 1 liter is 1000 cubic centimeters good musa 315000 cubic centimeters is equal to 315 liters teacher draw a sketch of a 1 meter cube on the chalkboard
closer. How many liters will a 1 meter cube hold? The volume of a 1 meter cube is 1 meter multiplied by 1 meter multiplied by 1 meter which is equal to 1 cubic meter. But 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Therefore, 100 centimeters multiplied by 100 centimeters multiplied by 100 centimeters is equal to 1 million cubic centimeters. Since 1 liter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters, then 1 million cubic centimeters is equal to 1,000 liters. Good, Musa. A cube of sides 1 meter can hold 1,000 liters. Therefore, 1 cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 liters. Amina, what is the capacity of a cuboid of sides 10 meters, 8 meters, and 12 meters in liters? The volume of the cuboid of sides 10 meters, 8 meters, and 12 meters is equal to 960 cubic meters. One cubic meter is 1,000 liters. Therefore, the capacity of the cuboid is 960 multiplied by 1,000 liters, which is equal to 960,000 liters. Good, Amina. The capacity of a cuboid of sides 10 meters, 8 meters, and 12 meters is 960,000 liters. Teacher, draw a sketch of a cuboid of sides 80 centimeters, 120 centimeters, and 10 centimeters in liters. Musa, what is the capacity in liters of the cuboid measuring 80 centimeters by 120 centimeters by 10 centimeters? The capacity of the cuboid is 80 centimeters multiplied by 120 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters, which is equal to 96,000 cubic centimeters. Since 1,000 cubic centimeters is equivalent to 1 liter, we divide 96,000 cubic centimeters by 1,000 to get 96 liters. Good, Musa. The capacity is 96 liters. Class, did you get 96 liters? Good. Teacher, Show the class a cylindrical tin. Amina, how do we calculate the volume of a cylindrical tin? The tin has a circular uniform cross section. The area of the cross section is pi radius squared. We then multiply the area of uniform cross-section with the height. This gives the volume of a cylindrical tin as pi radius squared multiplied by height. Good, Amina. The volume of a cylindrical tin is pi radius squared multiplied by height cubic units. Musa, what is the capacity of a cylindrical tin of radius 7 cm and height 20 cm in milliliters? The volume is the area of the uniform cross-section multiplied by the height. This is 22 over 7 
multiplied by 7 centimeters, multiplied by 7 centimeters, multiplied by 20 centimeters. This is equal to 3080 cubic centimeters. We know that 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter. Therefore, 3080 cubic centimeters is equal to 3080 milliliters. Good, Musa. The capacity is 3080 milliliters. Class, how many liters does the tin hold? Give the answer to your teacher. Amina, what is the capacity of the cylindrical tin in liters? The capacity of the cylindrical tin is 3,080 milliliters divided by 1,000, which is equal to 3.08 liters. Good, Amina. The capacity...